Dear colleagues and friends, like many new technologies, artificial intelligence holds enormous potential for improving health. This includes improved diagnosis and clinical care, enhanced research and development, disease surveillance, outbreak response, and managing health systems, especially in low and middle income countries. For example, an AI based tool is already being tested to screen for cervical cancer in India, Kenya, Malawi, Rwanda, South Africa, and Zambia. AI could also be used to improve detection of tuberculosis, COVID-19, and many other conditions. At the same time, artificial intelligence raises potential ethical concerns, including equitable access to technologies, data protection, and liability. That's why WHO established an expert group of 20 leading specialists to identify the opportunities and challenges of artificial intelligence and agree on a set of core principles to promote the ethical use of AI for health. Today, I'm proud to announce the launch of the WHO guidance document on the ethics and governance of AI for health. It provides the much needed guidance to ministries of health, AI programmers, and health providers. I hope that this report will help countries to harness the power of artificial intelligence while minimizing the risk for a healthier, safer, and fairer future. I thank you.